Welcome to Nowfruits Management Web Portal for Enterprises. I will walk you through a tutorial on how to use this portal. To begin with, let me tell you about the various features. First one being the dashboard. Dashboard summarizes analytics related to all the sites. You can observe the trend over weeks for number of visits, number of visitors, number of user messages, and number of subscribers. The interactive graph enables you to select a time period. Here, as you can see, you can watch for last 10 weeks, last 15 weeks, and so on. The second feature is discovery. Once you click on discovery, it will show you the search queries that land on your site while an online user is performing a search on a search engine. For example, for this particular store, the first column talks about the search query, second column talks about the day and date on which the search query was made by an IP address which is available on the third column. Moving on to the third feature which is Inbox. Inbox includes the customer inquiries posted through the Talk to Business feature available on the site. And in this, you can see the email address or the phone number of an online user who has posted a query. Moving on to the fourth feature, which is your updates. Your updates showcases all the updates that you have done on the message board. Here, for an individual store, you can see what all updates have happened. In case you want to delete a particular message, you can click on delete this message and the message will be deleted. Moving on to the fifth feature, which is image gallery. Image gallery showcases the featured image on your site as well as the secondary images which are posted on the gallery. In case you want to change the featured image, you need to click on edit. Select a photograph, click open and again click on edit. You would need to refresh the page in order to see the changes. Though the changes would have been reflected on the site. Coming to the secondary images, if you want to add any secondary image, you can go to image uploader, click on add files, select an image, click open and hit start upload. It will give you a prompt successfully upload your images to that particular store and if you refresh this page it will appear here now let's say you want to delete one of the gallery images you click on delete there will be check boxes you can select all or you can select the image that you want to delete if delete the image will be deleted from that particular store Moving on to the sixth feature, which is Manage Website. Using this, you can edit details related to your site. So you select an individual store, and you can edit the business name, description. You can add or delete contact number. You can very well, let's say, the marker location is not correct. You can change the marker location and hit Save. You can add store timings. You can add store opening and closing time, email address, Facebook page, and other website details as well, and click on Save Changes. Apart from this, if you want to rearrange some of the web widgets on your site, select a particular store, and you can shuffle the location of these widgets and click Save. Now, once we are done with this, 
I would like to tell you how to post content on your sites. For this, first of all, you need to click dashboard, go to dashboard. In that, by default, all stores would be selected. So when all stores is highlighted in orange color, click on the first icon on the top right corner of the portal, which reads like add a new update. Once you click on that, this will open a dialog box below. Here you can write a content. Now, if you want to simply post a text content update, click on submit. It will prompt you for a confirmation. Say yes. And now this content have been posted on all your sites as well as it has already been received by all your subscribers. Let's say you want to send this message to not all your subscribers, you just check out this box. In addition, if you want to send a picture message, you need to check and attach a picture to this message. Select a picture, click open, and then write the caption and submit. As of now, I'm not posting this to the site and I'm closing this data box. And to show you how this content would have been updated, you go to your updates. And as you can see, this message has been posted to all your stores. You can also go to an individual store and see this is how a typical site will look like and see we provide best vehicle services at our source it's already updated in case you want to update an individual store in that situation go to dashboard and select that individual store or you can search for the individual store selected and the same procedure add a new update and write an update click submit it will only be posted to the selected store but since this is an enterprise dashboard it's strongly recommended that all stores is selected while you are making any update which will essentially go to all your stores now the second update content update that you can do is the gallery images so again you need to go to dashboard all stores view is selected and then click on add a new image here you can add files select an image click on open start upload and this image will be updated to all your stores as you can see, the number of active stores that is being shown is 16 here. All in all, this is all about how to use Nowflow's management web portal for enterprises. In case you have any comment or query, you can drop us an email at biz at the rate nowflows.com or call our customer care number 916043303. Thank you.